This is I feature. Today we're going through PitchMap Colors, which is a small version of PitchMap, but it has all the features what you need to get really creative at sound design. PitchMap came out, by the way, at the 20th October 2023. I would say, let's get started. And I'm going to deactivate PitchMap first. So you're going to hear the raw sound, what I imported from my sample pack, which is not out yet. <laughs> Nice. Well, you can literally change the pitch of that sound with pitch map, or you could just literally go insane with the sound design. Yeah, I would say let's get into it right now and see what the plugin can do. Let's open up pitch map and turn it on. Boop. Boom, it literally fixed the pitch from the sound, or actually I just changed the pitch because I wanted to have it in this scale. So what you can do is just clicking on the keys and selecting exactly the keys you want to have from the sample. When it's off, you don't hear anything. Pretty cool. You have an A, B, C, D slot where you can change your scale and it saves it here. That means if I go to B and I change the sound also here and go to A again, switch to B, it saves it which is pretty cool. Now we have also a pretty cool mode, which is sick, insane, and what the frick. Sick is like the easy version, which is like normal, natural sounding, I would say. Insane is like kind of medium already. And what the frick is just like sound design texture-ish. Just crazy. If we talk about sound design, we have a FMT gamma mode. If you listen too carefully to the sound, Kinda sounds like really spectrally sounding, if you ask me. Pretty, pretty cool. It's also like, kinda sounds like also that it's changed a little bit of the formants, but the formant shift sounds like that. Which goes plus 12 up and minus 12 down. Double click and you can just literally type in your value what you want. You have your own presets also, where you can just click on it and just see what cool presets they have. And also I created my own preset. If you wanna create your own, change your preset as you want it, then you're gonna click on save as, and then you can just save your preset. We have also like a pretty cool button here, which is a MIDI input. When we click on it, then we switch to MIDI input. And now if you root the MIDI input with a new MIDI channel and put the input to the sound where the plugin is located. So now if we play the sound, you can see it. It plays the chord progression what you plucked in into the MIDI. Really cool if you ask me. If you have like more transient attacky sounds, then we can literally bypass our transients to keep the cool transients. Let's see. And now we put transient bypass. It doesn't get really affected from the processing, but we can turn it down of course. And now it gets 100% affected by the sound. Yeah, Insane is a good example. We leave it at medium, and then we can hear it's literally bypassing the transients. But as you can hear, you have like a little, like a slightly pitch from the old sound. We have a pitch rounding, which means you have an up sound or a down sounding or a nearest sounding. Choose yourself where the sound should be. Like in pitch map, in an easy way. And of course, what it needs to have is scale shift. Which goes minus 24 and plus 24. As the name is already saying, uh, shifting the scale. What you can do too, to sh shift the scale, you can just click these buttons here. But the difference between that and that one is that it, this one is shifting really the keys it sound itself, and this one changes the input shift scale. Staying still in key, but if we change now the sound here, then it changes, of course, also the key of the sound. The thing is, if you scale shift, of course, when you have a sound with a sub, then it's shifting also the sub, of course. So be aware to maybe keep the low end clean and maybe shift only the mids of the sound and the highs. Could be sounding a little bit more cleaner. We have a low cut and a high cut and a minimum pitch and a maximum pitch. So you can select definitely 
how much sound you want to get through the pitch. Also, we have a low cut until 1000 here, and you can go down with a high cut here. If sounds getting too harsh or sounds getting too muddy. So here we have special options if you're connecting a MIDI device. So you can learn it to the MIDI or unlearn it, control the settings here and change the variables really uh, easy here. Here you can deactivate also the visualizer here. So it saves more CPU. And on this one, you can easily zoom into your plugin settings or make it even more smaller. And we have a basic bypass button on and off. Let me show you bass sound, how it sounds when we put pitch map colors on it, like really fast. Now we go into insane. Oh yeah, you can see my CPU is crying already because of this without the pitch map. It has that what it needs actually. Everything is more and more harmonized, which is pretty nice for the ears. Really pleasant. That's a sick sound. So if you click right click on the value, then it's resetting, which is pretty cool. But yeah guys, that is pitch map colors. Guys, check Zynaptic out, follow them on Instagram. They have really great plugins. Check their website out. I'm gonna link everything into the description so you can just click on the links. That was, by the way, also a cooperation with Zynaptic. I really wanted to test this plugin and yeah, they gave me the good opportunity to do it and I'm pretty happy. Yeah, you can create really, really creatively sounds with it and I can really recommend it. It's really, really cool. That's from my side. Wish you a great day and until next plugin review.